Hi, Jeremy Cohen here with a Make Your Fiddle Swing Minute. Now it's entirely possible that this may take a little bit longer than a minute, but let's get started learning how to produce better tone, improvise, and make your fiddle swing. Hi, Jeremy Cohen here, and this Make Your Fiddle Swing Minute we're going to discuss the amount of tension that we use holding our instruments. Really, if you think about it, in my case, I play the violin. And the violin, I took my violin and I put it on a postal scale. As a matter of fact, I have a picture of it in the book. My violin weighs one pound and one ounce. And if you think about it, the energy with which I am holding up my violin is actually the energy from my body in some cases, for a lot of players, could sustain a 20-pound Thanksgiving turkey. Really, seriously. Some people hold up and or approach their instruments with so much kinetic body energy that they're wasting, I think, a lot of tension that can be used much more constructively by lightening up and approaching your instrument with only enough energy to hold it up. My violin weighs, remember, one pound, one ounce. So I've got some of the weight of it suspended on my shoulder already, which means it's less than a pound it coming into my left hand. It's very hard to see if somebody's holding their instrument too tight. But what we do want to have is a lot of flexibility. My shoulders relax down. My instrument is just sitting upon it. And the, I'm not bearing a lot of weight with my chin into the instrument. I don't have to hold it that tight in order to be able to move my hands around. The violin takes very little tension. It is naturally made to produce vibration and sound with just the weight of this two ounce bow sitting on the surface of the string. So in this case, I'm talking about not only the tension of holding up the instrument with too much energy from my body on the left side, but also on the right side, the bow is just a two ounce piece of wood, but magically it's made to create vibration on the instrument without bearing pressure. This is the sound of my bow traveling horizontally over the surface of the string, creating sound. Now, yes, I can add tension. But as we add tension, we also have to adjust our speed and pressure. So there's a constant relationship between the speed of the bow and the pressure downward of the hair onto the string. Here's what happens if I use too much pressure and not enough speed. And here's what happens if I use too much speed and not enough pressure. Somewhere in between is a graph of constantly changing speeds and pressures. But what I'd like you to know is how can you hold up your instrument without being tense in your body? And how can you allow just the weight of the bow to create vibration and resonance? And we can start to unwind a lot of the tension that people use to play very much a lot of right arm pressure and weight and not well matched bow speed. If I took that same thing, it would sound much lyrical if I reduce the amount of pressure, let the gravity, the actual gravitational force of the bow be the thing that rests upon the string. And if I need, I can add a gram or two of pressure here and there to create a little more a deeper sound, change the character of the sound, all kinds of things. So that's it for now. Again, a lot of information there, much to think about, but you can create all kinds of new tones experimenting with speech and pressures. The end of the story is hold your fiddle up with less tension, hold your instrument up with less tension, and don't press so heavily with the right arm. Create your sound by horizontal motion.